everybody, this is Praxis. Before I get to the video, I want to direct your attention behind you over here to the sprinkler. It's just, it looks really cool, backlit, with the sun behind it, and it's like a giant seashell. Anyway, uh, I did a lot of work yesterday. Uh, I got all the posts up on both sides. Uh, the other side looks just like this, with the exception of the header board. I'm just about to put the header on now. That's the board that runs across the top and ties them all in together. Uh, this post here, uh, with the angle braces, is rigidified. It's plumb. It's right where it needs to be. These guys are kind of haphazard all over the place. So I've got this thing all pre-measured out. I've got lines drawn right on the... Uh, on the header and I'm going to be pulling these into position and nailing them in one by one and uh, because this one's correct and uh, over at the end it's nailed in it's correct it'll just pull everything in line. Uh, I wanted to uh, talk a little bit again about this tool which I use an awful lot. Uh, it's just a ratchet set that you would use, actually I don't even know if it's called a ratchet set, it's a, a tie down uh, strap that you'd use to you know tie things to the you know top of your car or anything like that. I've been using it a lot as like an extra person. Now if I had another person here I could have them just kind of take this uh, post and move it into position and then I'd I'd hammer it in on top but with it just being me here I, uh, I use this and I've got the lines drawn right on top here and I'm just clicking it one at a time okay and now it's like I'm not straining while I do it I, I can just focus on hammering in the nails and I don't have to be wrestling with it at the same time here we go I just take my time Pull it over one, one more. Okay. Okay, got one in. This post is a little twisted. I'm just gonna hit it like that. Okay, I've got four nails that go in on the top. I'm gonna get the other two in a little bit, but you can see the process as, as I go. I'll just pull these posts one way or the other and uh, you know, get them where I need to be and nail them in. I do want to do a quick update on uh, radon. I uh, realized I had a video uh, a little bit ago that was about getting a new digital radon test and the video got cut off in the middle. Basically, long story short, I'm not sure how much was there. Uh, I did have some radon uh, with the charcoal test, so I decided to get a uh, a digital test because I wanted to do a lot of uh, a lot of tests, uh, you know, just to kind of see how the radon uh, is present or not present over time. Uh, also, uh, if I'm going to do remediation at some point, I'm going to want to check it again. And the digital test was like six times as much as, as a charcoal test, but I figured I was probably going to be doing at least four of those tests uh, in, in order to like do it, you know, two double checks before I do a uh, any remediation. If I do remediation, I want to do several tests afterwards. So I figured, you know, why not just buy the digital test and then I can take lots of different tests and it's in the end going to be just about the same amount of money. I've been running that for a while and uh, it seems like we've got a radon issue. we got to figure out uh, where that's coming from. There are a couple sources, uh, potentially, you know, it's from granite. I'm wondering if it's just from this granite rock that was brought in as a, um, a burial thing that they put underneath the house in order to remediate uh, radon and maybe the remediation itself is generating some of it. Uh, having the digital test, I'm just going to put some of this rock in a jar and test that out. Not that that really helps me out, but it gives me a sense of who to be irritated with if the you know the landscape people brought in radon uh, contaminated stuff as a ra radon remediation. Anyway, I'm going to track that stuff down because we got to solve that because radon is something that you know you could live in a house for several years and be fine, and then you start getting lung cancer. So we don't want to have that. Um, other than that, you know, just working on this while the weather's nice, doing sanding when the weather's not nice, and work continues on forward. That's it. Thanks for watching.